I'm a child of hip-hop, grew up with it, um, especially in the 90s. I can't help it. It's always on in the background, you know, when I'm riding to the cleaners or on my way to teach. And so because of that, the cadences and the rhythms of hip-hop sort of come out naturally um, in my thought patterns. And so I can't help that they sort of spill out onto the page as I'm writing. I think that there's no better hip-hop group than A Tribe Called Quest. Always like Wu-Tang. There are poems where I sample Kendrick Lamar. So for instance, he's got a line, what you want, you a house, you a car, 40 acres and a mule, a piano, a guitar. And so I use that, right? I sample the lyrics and then I say, what you need, you a bond, you a tree, 40 acres and a mule, a monopoly piece. And then the poem goes on from there. I was living in southern Indiana and teaching, and twice a month I had this guy dinner. We'd go out, we'd get suited and booted. Me, the college professor, another guy was a lawyer, it was a cat who was a skateboarder, and another guy who built fences for a living. And so you can imagine, like, the topics would just go from one thing to, to the other. But whenever I brought up gun violence and gun violence perpetrated against the black body, all the police shootings that I was seeing in the news, it got very quiet as if I was being silenced. And so I did the passive aggressive thing that you do as a poet, you write a poem about it. I'm gonna to read to you conjecture on the stained glass image of white Christ at Ebenezer Baptist Church. The title refers to the famous church in Atlanta, Georgia, where you can still see the image of a white Jesus at the pulpit in a predominantly black church. If in his image made him I, then make me a miracle. Make my shrine a copper faucet leaking everlasting Evian to the masses. Make this empty water glass a goblet of long-legged French wine. Make mine a prince purple body bag designed by Crown Royal for tax collectors to spill over and tide into just before I rise. If in his image made him I, then make my vessel of pearl Coupe de Ville. Make mine the body of a 28-year-old black woman in a blue pattern maxi dress, cruising through hell on earth, Texas, again alive. If in his image made her we, then why the endless string of effigies? Why so many mortal blasphemies? Why crucify me in HD across a scrolling news ticker tied to a clothesline of broken necks long as time? It's my hope that Writing about these things sometimes quietly, the absence of those details, the blood and the gore that you see on the news, um, that that'll be something, that that'll be arresting and that'll be enough to move someone to do something. My name is Marcus Wicker and this is my brief but spectacular take on beats, rhymes, and poetry.